Okay, welcome everyone to. Ooh, ready? Yeah, welcome everyone to this press conference with Trevor Chalaber. We followed the same rules as the last one, so please state your name and company, and we'll start with Ben here at the front. Thank you. Uh, ben Ransom, Sky Sports. Trevor, thanks for your time this evening. Um, it's been a turbulent few months, I suppose, on the defensive side, given the number of players that have uh, left the squad. What's the manager said to you about your role now and ahead of this coming season? Well, for now, we're just focusing on pre-season training, getting fit, and obviously playing in the game. So that's that's the main focus right now. I haven't spoke to the manager personally yet, but my aim is just to do well in the pre-season and obviously how I started last season as well in that pre-season, starting strong again. You've spoken previously about Antonio Rudiger being a bit of a mentor for you uh, over the last couple of years. Obviously, now he's gone. Do you personally take uh, the opportunity? Is there an opportunity for you now to almost step out of the shadow and, and build on what you have achieved <coughs> in the last season? Yeah, for, as a young player, it's good to look up to players like him, Antonio. As I said, he's 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 been the one that's helped me this, this season. And um, yeah, now that he's gone, for young players, it's important for me to now step up. Obviously, playing last season, had my first debut season, and from there, I just need to learn and step on again. Uh, Nizar Kintela, Evening Standard. Hi, Trevor. Um, I wanted to ask you. Um, you know, you you made your name in this sort of pre-season last year and got your shot at Chelsea. A lot of other boys will want to do the same as well who've been on loan. What's your sort of advice to sort of those players who are wanting to kind of emulate you and, and get in this squad? For me. Uh, I just think you just need to impress, just be ready. And that's what I've done last season and I want to do the same. So for players coming coming back from learning, just the same thing when you just give it your all, you never know what could happen. Do you think the manager looks at everyone as equals and, and sort of gives you that chance during these Yeah, times? Yeah, definitely. You see us as all the same and everyone's on the same path, same level at the moment. And, and whoever wants it more, who want, wants to impress and then they're taken from there. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Any more questions? Hey Trevor, good evening. How are you doing? James Desborough, Reach US. With the arrival of Raheem at the club, for you individually and for players, what does the importance of his mindset and experience bring to the team? And is there a renewed sense of excitement of what you can achieve and having someone who's <coughs> achieved so much in his career joining the team? Yeah, I think it, bring, it brings a lot to the team. Obviously Raheem coming in, you know how much of a big player he is, won a lot, scored a lot of goals. And to get that type of player to join our squad to then help us obviously win games, win trophies is, is going to be massive for us and we're all excited. And mentoring as well, would it individually? Well, yeah, I think you know how many games he's played. For a player, you want to play as many games as he did as well. And yeah, it's just we need to follow that footsteps as a young player as well, getting as many games as possible. OK, we go to the front here. Julio Ibañez from Today in Mexico. Do you think that Chelsea is favourite uh, for tomorrow's match? Say that again, sorry? Chelsea is favourite for tomorrow's match? Well, we just go into the game wanting to win every game. That's, that's, that's Chelsea. We want to win every game as possible. Uh, we've got to Simon here. Hi, Trevor. Simon Johnson from The Athletic. Um, just, just sort of reflecting back on the lessons you kind of learned from last season as, as someone that's been on loan and then making your way into the first team sort of what is the what are the differences what are the challenges that that you experienced in your first season as a as a senior player <clears throat> obviously being in my first season in the premier league is i think it's all about consistency i think to stay at the top to play for a big club like this you've got to be 100 percent every day whether that's training as well as start some training then going into games but um i think that's what i learned last season and that's what I want to try and prove this season. Was there also a case of the, the highs and lows that come with it? You know, because you had the highs of, for example, like scoring on debut, Crystal Palace, etc. Um, and then sort of in the second half of the season, played a bit less. You, you got to experience the sort of the, the highs and lows, the realities of senior football at a club like this. Well, as you said, yeah, that's a reality. Obviously, every player wants to, wants to do the best every single game and... I started well and then obviously I had my injury and had a bit of a, a dip, but that's that's football. Obviously, it being my first season, as well, I've learned a lot. 
football it's always not ever it's not ever high it's, it's going to be lows as well but it's it's the lows that you take from that and try and improve and that's what I want to do this season and, and is that a sort of reality that the other young players at the club will have to perhaps sort of be ready for that even if they do get a chance I think yeah 100% they're, they're going to be mistakes all the time and that's where you learn from them and obviously I made mistakes myself but it's how you're going to grow as a player and how you're going to mature I drive Adam Newsom from Football London I just want to say, in yourself, do you feel more relaxed now at Chelsea? Because last season you, you were almost having to prove yourself every game. Do you now feel more relaxed uh, in within the squad as well? For me, I'll never be relaxed. I think that's just the mentality I have. I'll always be, always be the same as last season. Every game is going to be a final trial for me because I want to. It's a massive club, and I want to play every game. And I think me being relaxed is it's not going to help me. I think I always need to be on my toes, <clears throat> and yeah, just be ready for every game and every training session. Okay, we'll go to Tom here, then after Tom we'll go to the lady at the back there. <clears throat> Hi Trevor, um, Tom Roddy, The Times. Y you mentioned there you want to play every game. I just wonder what it was like for you at the moment with Andreas and Tony going. It opens up opportunities, but what's it like when you know that the club are actively looking for players in your position? Obviously it's a big club, but Chelsea's always going to try and strengthen the team in every position. and. For me, I'm just focused on what I need to do and what I need, need to do to get into the team and what i done last season to step it up 10 times more and obviously show the manager that I'm ready. OK, we go to the back here. Hi. We are from Brazil and Thiago Silva is a very important player for Brazilian national team. What can you say about the importance of Thiago for Chelsea's team? I think, yeah, Thiago for me is... a. As I said, one of the idols I've always looked up to when I was young. And yeah, he brings a lot of experience to the team. As we see how he played last season, unbelievable. And for me, as a young player, trying to get to that level was very important for me to to learn from him every day. And he, he, everyone from the team learned from him as well. And yeah, he brings just a massive character to the to the team. Okay, cheers, guys. Finish it there. Thanks, Trevor. Cheers. cheers.